Hello everyone, it's me, back for another YouTube video. Oh man, I'm I'm sick today. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm quite sick. I'm also trying not to bump the table really hard so that it doesn't unfocus. I'll just put my legs out here. Too many legs, I should only have one. So, um, today I have a story for all of you. This story is about a rat. So if you like rats, this is a story for you. If you don't like rats, you will like rats by the end of this story, okay? I promise you. I promise. I can't promise you. If you have a phobia of rats, I'm sorry, but just enjoy my story. Okay, so here's the thing. So when I was young, when I was a, a wee, wee, I was never really wee. When I was younger, in grade, probably probably eight. You know, I, I had had a long string of hamsters. Hamsters are great. They're not very bright. They're, they're really cute, but they're, they're not very smart. I had a lot of those. And then that hamster that I had, I believe his name was Ginger, he passed away due to old age. He lived a very long, happy life. And you know, after he was gone, my dad, my dad said to me, hey, Sarah, you know what? We should get a rat. Because like I had a rat when I was a kid. I had so many rats when I was a kid. You know, rats flowing everywhere. He, he didn't actually say that. I had rats. My friends had rats. It'll be great. It'll be just like old times. So I'm thinking and that, point to my life, I hadn't been enlightened yet. Still thought that rats were gross, like many of you out there watching this video. So anyway, I'm like, ew, rat. But you know, my dad has some pretty good judgment. So I mean, I guess I can get a rat. That's okay, I'll, I'll deal with it. So we get to the pet store and we find this rat. The lady says like, oh yeah, this rat's pretty fat. It's almost like she's pregnant, right? And immediately I'm like, oh, well that's the rat I want then. Cause like, what if she is pregnant? Then I can get a whole bunch of rats, right? So we're looking at her, we're looking at the other rat and we're like, okay, well we'll get, we'll get her. The one that she said maybe is pregnant, but we're like, like, she's probably not pregnant. So like I was super pumped, but my dad had never had a female rat before. So my dad had never had a female rat before. So I named her Josie. And then every time we tried to put our hand in the cage, she would like, I'd be like, oh, like, hello, Josie. And then she'd go, ha, bite me, bite my fingers. She bit one of my fingers twice in a row in the same spot. I had band-aids on like all of the fingers on one hand. And then once she was out of the cage, she was fine. I didn't really understand it, but I already didn't like rats. And now it was just really affirming my dislike of rats. <sighs> So anyway, after a couple days, like my dad's just thinking like, he, he, he's telling me, he's like, I've never had this before. I don't understand why this is happening to our, to our rat. Why, I don't understand why she's being so unsociable, right? But you know, we're holding out hope that maybe, maybe she's not gonna suck as much pretty soon. So we're watching a movie one night. Actually, no, we were watching Home Improvement. Aroo! Like, like that one with Tim Allen. He's like, Aroo! I had to do it twice because I love that sound. I didn't even do it right. <laughs> so anyway, we finished watching it and my dad goes by the cage and he looks in and he's like, Sarah? I'm like, yes, dad? He's like, did you give the rat, did you give the rat meat to eat? It looks like she's got meat in there. So I'm like, no, I don't, I wouldn't give the rat meat to eat. She's already eating my meat off my fingers, right? <laughs> so my dad's like, well, she's chewing on something in there. So I look in the cage. She's chewing on an umbilical cord. She was pregnant. She's got a baby in her arms and the babies are so like little. I'm an only child. Um, so if you're an only child or if you're the youngest sibling, I'm assuming if you're the youngest sibling, it's probably close to the same thing, but I'd never experienced somebody that close to me having a pregnancy before. I was so pumped. Like I was like, it's happening, it's happening. How many kids is she gonna have? Like I looked up the largest amount of rats a mom or rat can have is like 16, which is crazy. And then she ended up having like four, but it was so exciting to be honest. And then, um, yeah, after she gave birth to them, we kept them all for about a month and then I was two girls and two boys so kind of like the Pevensies from Narnia we had to give give the mom and the two girls back and we ended up keeping the two brothers and we named them Teddy and Sniffy and they lived for two years and that is my story of my first rat thank you very much for watching this is Sarah is singing signing out